Jesus! F me, f me, f me. Hey everybody here, Claridge here, back with another speaker blowout, and today the selection is all over the map. <laughs> now, what these all have in common, other than being speakers of course, is these were all found during the coronavirus cleanouts while people were in their isolation doing their whatever, cleaning their houses out. They found this junk and uh, sent it along with me to mess around with. A couple of these items are mine, but not many. Yeah. Cool. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this today, man. end up breaking it before I even get to make a video with it every time. <laughs> okay, we need to get this together. <laughs> Won't be needing that anymore. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we have here. <laughs> the selection is definitely all over the place. We have like surround sound speakers, computer speakers. These are like um, some sort of no-name surround sound. Now this iPod dock, it actually has dome tweeters, that's pretty interesting. And uh, this is also interesting, it must be motorized. <laughs> now these little guys, they're actually made by Centrios, or that would have been Radio Shack, or the source. Towards the end of their career, anyway. These look like rebranded, sort of Radio Shack stuff. Now these, they're, they're pretty well the same thing. Genexa. Oh, they're real dusty though. The tweeters... That's really weird. It looks like they put a bigger tweeter than it was designed for in this cabinet. Yeah, I've definitely seen this kind of thing around before. Designs a lot like it. You know, I think it's these gloves. I'm not used to this. <laughs> it's still good. Then we have this real cheesy home theater subwoofer with a really cool little volume meter on the front. I'm going to try to save that thing if possible. I'm not too sure what the heck this thing came from, but it's real cheap. Alright, let's dig into these things. Uh, since they're really not that special, I'm not going to talk about them that much. Let's just blow the damn things up. Uh, let's start with, like, a pair of these things. <laughs> no. I think those are piezo tweeters. And they're not even, they don't have a crossover on them. I can feel them shake. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wow, those are crappy. <laughs> so this is a lab tech computer speaker from like the 90s. Okay, let's see what's going on in these all wrapped up things here. Yeah, we don't have any markings on these. Hey, not a bad speaker wire though. I'm definitely keeping those. No markings on the inside either. Although the tweeter is real and it's using a little headphone driver. Oh, I went and broke the woofer. I'll still be able to plug it in. Let's try that tweeter out though. That's funny. So for this test, I'm just going to plug in this little tweeter here. Nice. A little puff of smoke out of the back. pop this out of here. It's just a little driver out of like a pair of headphones. <laughs> that was the capacitor, definitely. Okay, I know I'm gonna get a bunch of smoke here, but whatever. This smells nice. <laughs> Okay, let's check out what's going on with these water speaker things. Absolutely no brand name on them. I'm pretty sure I got them wired up now. <laughs> Look at that, you can turn the sound off and just listen to the pumps. Our left side speaker is not working too good. <laughs> turn these back up. Oh, you know what's coming, I got the towel. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now this isn't gonna make enough splash.
Okay, what the hell? It's not water in this thing. It's baby oil. Like the like the smell and everything, like the classic What the frig? <laughs> Things are going to be extra slippery now. What the frig, man? me so long to figure out what the hell that scent was like oh my god I can't be too mad it's making my uh, bench here look pretty good <laughs> okay this has to be one of the more ridiculous messes I've ever had in here and it's not that bad it's just it's oily it's it's friggin baby oil what can I say <laughs> and a good amount of it This was requested so much. This was a very requested thing here, putting soda in a water speaker, and it does not like it at all. <laughs> it doesn't work. Can anyone tell me why that doesn't work? <laughs> not thick enough? No, I got like splashes of coke everywhere with the baby oil. Amazing. <laughs> kind of the standard little iPod dock speaker in here. Okay, I'm turning these power amps down because, yeah. <laughs> these things are tiny. <laughs> These did well. <laughs> For some reason cleaning up all that baby oil made me crave pizza. So yep, I went ahead and did that and during my break I actually found something a little fun here. I totally forgot to put in the video. So what we have here is the subwoofer out of a white van scam speaker system. Now I actually did a video on the little satellite speakers that came with this setup here, but I didn't have the subwoofer and here we go, I get one given to me years later. Or, I don't know how long ago it was. These are the Sutherland. <laughs> Innovative digital audio. Now at first glance this looks pretty fancy. We have all the inputs and outputs. There's a port here, kind of a cool wood coating on there, but if you take a look, it's actually like a sticker. We have two six and a half inch woofers here, and I totally forget how these are wired up, but it is not very good. <laughs> We're going to get into this in a second, but first, I'd like to mess around with this iPod dock thing. Now I found the power adapter, thank God, 20 volts. It lit up a little bit. Oh, you can take it, make it brighter. So 
So it's using two and a half inch woofers and then little one inch, yeah, dome tweeters. Very nice. Okay. Oh, there's a button on here too. Rotate. You know what, I bet that's made for an iPod Touch. You know how they, it used to be like a really big deal that it used to change the orientation. <laughs> Let's see if it actually works. I don't have an iPod on me, but it does take an auxiliary. What the frig? I put my hand on the power button. <laughs> times. messed it up finally. Alright, let's see what these sound like with a good amplifier. scared the living shit out of me. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Oh, no, no. Okay, that was a capacitor and it was fucking violent. <laughs> 
Oh man, the other one was just about to go. Oh wow. This woofer stuck right out. I jammed it right out. <laughs> this one's locked up. I think one of these tweeters might still work though. Jeez. Yeah, that scared the life out of me, man. <laughs> oh, man. Good thing I tripped over my auxiliary cord on the way out. That thing would have blew up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if the other one's still gonna work. Might have just been that capacitor, you know. What? <laughs> oh, look at that. Something's going on in here, man. Shorting out in here somewhere. I think. Whew. Well, I think that's the end of it. That's crazy, though. I guess that tweeter was done. Oh yeah. <laughs> that little capacitor, I swear, gave me a heart attack. So between one of these lab techs and one of these no-name surround sound speakers, which one do you think's gonna win? And by win, I mean blow first. I better not pull that off. I wanted to just give it a vent pull, but... Wow. <laughs> there, make it fair. Let's see what we get here. Not as bad as the last one. <laughs> Ton of smoke off it though. That has a really weird smell. <laughs> no smoke out of this guy. So this thing must have been off of like a really low-end home theater in a box. 
sort of thing. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack as well as a speaker wire. I'm guessing the 3.5 jack is just to run this little meter on the front. Let's see if the speaker wire gets us anywhere. Oh yeah, I hear it buzzing. interesting port on here. I'm going to try to save that. Got a slapper. Well, that's something different. <laughs> a ton of power here. That was the end of the song. Shit's on fire, yo. <laughs> wow, that sucker got hot. Well, it's still hot. Hey, good thing I'm wearing gloves. I felt it through the glove. So since that little fire, all the animals in the house decided to come and see what the heck was going on. <laughs> so now we have these Gen X, uh, or whatever the heck kind of speakers they are. Get the uh, heck out of my way. So 4 inch woofer, 2 inch tweeter, 30 watts, 80 to 20,000 hertz, 8 ohms, sensitivity of 88 decibels. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow melted it actually melted the dust cap <laughs> so 
Let's see what's going on with these JVC things. And I also have another one of these stupid no-name ones. But might as well hook it up. <laughs> That'll never get boring for me. <laughs> there was so much air coming out of this little port at the back here, it was just hitting me. <laughs> it's <was> awesome. <laughs> oh no. A good quite a way of showing how that worked. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it kind of looks like a bows. spark in there. <laughs> oh, that smells like crap, man. Now I think we're down to our last speaker unless something rolled under a shelf somewhere, but I'm pretty sure we're left with just this thing. <laughs> Very curious how it's wired up. I'm gonna try plugging like one part in at a time, see if it's like, you know, each woofer left and right or there's some sort of weird wiring in here. Making it like mono or something, I don't know. They do all kinds of weird crap. The terminal plate actually says Da Vinci on the back. That's another brand of white van scam stuff. So both the woofers are running, even though I only plugged it into the front left input. Uh, the top woofer seems to be playing all the frequencies, and then the bottom one seems to be running through a low-pass filter. I'm not trusting this at all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in here, but it's uh, probably a mess. So I'm going to try plugging into the front right input. Ah, what have I done? <laughs> So it's doing the exact same thing, but the opposite. So the top one is getting a low pass filter and the bottom driver was playing full range. I have no clue what the hell is going on in here. All kinds of shit. Um, what the funk? Well, this is interesting. So the negatives are soldered together. Then it goes through this low pass filter for the woofer. But then we also have these little capacitors here. I'm guessing that those were to make the satellite speakers actually just work as tweeters. It's a really sleazy operation, this thing. Absolutely nothing in here. <laughs> 
All right, getting rid of this crazy crossover network and just plugging each woofer into an amp. One amp per woofer. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I kept shorting my speaker wires out, although, did it blow up? Something might have blew up, because both of them went. Two amps in to protect here. Yeah, they're both fine. Let's turn the gain on the amp like all the way out. Ah. Hey, that one needs a bit of a cleaning. <laughs> this is going to be sensitive. Did only one of them smoke? Really? Well, that wasn't as eventful as I hoped, but we got one of them blowing freaking smoke out at you. Oh, there's like, oh, the plastic, freaking glittery, chromey crap everywhere. Ah. Uh, Whatever the coating on that woofer is just, yeah, flaked off. Glitter bombed. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like really thin cardboard. These are magnets. Might be able to get this cool port out of here. <laughs> oh, this is bad. 
<laughs> it's just bouncing around every time I hit it. <laughs> that flew directly into my garbage bin. <laughs> that was so much sawdust. We can see how it was made. Not very well. Just a bit of glue and like the worst IKEA wood out there. Well, that's about all for this pile of junk. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give the video a like, drop a comment, or subscribe to the channel for more. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.